The Aurora Borealis or Aurora Australis. These objects, lights, light particles being lit. Is it from the sun 93 million miles away? That's what they say, that light from the sun travels to or, towards Earth, right? I don't know, you know, we read all these things, but aside from that, look at what we're looking at. I can't help but wonder what they used to think in the ancient times. Can you imagine seeing these phenomenons in the sky? How, do you understand how automatically, of course, the gods were the sun and the moon was part of their religions, of course, because of all the phenomenons they were seeing, these unexplained things, they didn't even know, let alone what the sun was, you can only imagine. Black holes. Recently, in the constellation of Orion, I've been getting beautiful pictures of the star system, Rigel. It is said by some astronomers and in science in some university, I have been reading up on the fact that they say that a possible uh, black hole is uh, inside of Rigel's system and inside of the Great Nebula of Orion. Rigel star system is one of the most amazing star systems I've ever seen. Well, that's one out of trillions, gazillions, quadrillions, right? There's just so many celestial objects out there. How can we think that we're alone, guys? Just thinking of that. Rigel star system of three to five stars is around 800 light years from Earth. And it is said to be the brightest star in the constellation of Orion. Rigel's actually a three star system is what everyone's saying now. Um, I've, I believe that there's more. Of course, there's some dimmer objects. I believe it's a five star system with five massive objects and possibly a black hole in its center. I've gotten a hundred, uh, over 100,000 views, if not 300,000 views on one of my Rigel videos, which I thank you all greatly appreciated. But yeah, black holes inside systems inside of Rigel star system were right inside of uh, the left dark area. And we could see other dimmer systems inside and around, right inside of Rigel star. It's a system, right? It's not a star. But scientists refer to these areas as stars. So when you tell a scientist, um, Rigel star, it will know everything it consists of because calling it a star is just so that you can get the area of where this star system is. They call it Rigel star. This is the great nebula of Orion, still inside of the constellation of Orion, one of my favorite constellations. We can always see the dipper. It's very easy to find the constellation of Orion. Um, there are systems and other objects very close in and around the um, nebula. The nebula, there's something astonishing in the center that, you know, because I like looking at the detail that not many are, uh, are noticing, but there's an actual sphere. We could actually see it right here, actually, bottom left, but I'll show you dead center of it, the round sphere of it. It's a massive, massive spherical object, probably very dense, either a gas or maybe even, what, a planet? This, I wouldn't put nothing by uh, anything. Nothing sounds crazy anymore, guys. We're seeing so many things out in space. Look at the round celestial object inside of the constellation of Orion, inside of the Great Nebula, sorry, of Orion. Just a beautiful shot. I've got so many beautiful shots of the constellation of Orion and the Great Nebula, and I've gotten it entirely. All the objects around it, there's so much detail we have to look at just looking at the nebula. One of the most beautiful nebulas in the entire universe. Here, simply inverted, an inversion view. And when I say x-ray, guys, it actually is an x-ray program, okay? No, I don't have an x-ray machine like to see through the body. 
but it's an x-ray processing. This, in inversion, look at all the lines and dense gases that could be, uh, that are there on the nebula. It's a nebula, guys. It's, it's, it's rock, okay? It's so bloody solid that it's like a planet. This object was so controversial and it got so many people um, mad at me for some reason. This is an object. See, it's coming from the back of the sun. It turned on its thrusters just before entering the sun. I filmed it. It moved, unsettled the corona. It's still flaring right now as the object went through. Looks like a plane, okay? And this is literally a very large object. Think of it, it's on the sun. Earth would fit under its wing. Its size would be massive, definitely massive. There's definitely a thrust behind it. It went in one side and came out the other. It went in straight on the left side and it came out facing on the right side and no it's not those beautiful planes that go in front of the sun flybys planes don't have thrusting flames behind it as it approached the sun it became lit up this this is no joke and it's the real thing and i caught it with my camera this was absolutely amazing with a solar filter um, the crazy penguin sent up a community member a long time community member this is a partial eclipse 2017 unknown object touches the sun or goes very close by to it wasn't that incredible this was while i was filming the beginning of the partial eclipse it was just approaching the moon and this object scooted by between the sun and the moon and here we're going to see it in a lot slower detail it was a pretty big object um, or, or a pretty big field of energy that's around it either way. And we'll see it here in slower detail. Take a look at it. It's pretty interesting. The colors are exquisite. Each phenomenon and each event has its own colors, right? A certain phenomenon that seems to appear around them. Here's the cool part. See, it just went over um, the front side of the moon. So it was between earth and the moon and not between the moon and the sun like i had thought i just saw it here come up between in the facade of the moon as the moon was coming towards the the eclipse and here over the sun a coffee bean <laughs> so many wonderful objects these are real objects guys we are finding them uh from home you know we're not hearing them on the news and that's pretty incredible i have to admit at one point at the end of 2017, I thought I was just this incredible guy that could catch asteroids every day. No, it wasn't that. There were asteroids coming in, coming in around Earth every single day for a couple of weeks. It was incredible. There were objects beside the moon. There were objects spiraling around the sun. This is the first time, ask Crazy Penguin, the community member. He sent me the paper. I told him I wanted to try the sun. And after that, day one, I called him up. I messaged him online. I said, bro, look what I'm finding. I'm finding these objects everywhere. This paper's crazy. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think the sky was crazy. But then we heard the neutron stars had collided. Then we heard... Of, the mass coronal ejection that I got myself. Here's a, a short clip of it. Amazing burst of energy. A giant plasmic object of pure plasma. Thick planet-like object coming out of the sun. You'll see my telephone wires on the bottom left at one point, but never mind this. Look at the blast of energy you just saw. Look at the spaceship coming out of the sun. Okay, it's probably plasma, but damn, it looks like a spaceship. I don't know. The curved nose, the sides, it's eerie. Either way, look at what's going on with the sun. The wires on the bottom. The sun is not ever supposed to do that. Do you understand? 
I don't see these lines separate. My filtering, there's three lines, red, green, and blue, and they're lying down. Now the sun is pulsating. Just threw something out, and here it is, bursting through the corona. Literally, look at what's coming out. It could be a blast of major sized plasmic thick planet like rock just formed from the major explosion that we just saw now this is very large you understand we're looking at 93 million miles supposedly the sun away so we're seeing this come out of the sun guys okay and look at it pulsate the same day as the video i posted the coronal mass ejection the same day nasa and everyone else in the world was mesmerized by the massive coronal mass ejection that had just spit out a ball of plasma from the sun i have yet to do more research on this then i see this object beside the moon it looks exactly like the shape that came out of the sun okay so i was flipping out and i posted it and i was seeing all these anomalies happen continuously every day at the end of 2017 and it, it was repetitive and other channels were getting it people were talking about nibiru and some still are that some still are maybe able to see out there but not here unfortunately it's getting there we're announcing beautiful saturday morning and all day sun here so let's hope it'll be sunny for three or four days we can get some stars, we can get back up into the sky.